Now we already did a poll earlier on in our course, but let's just do a quick reminder. If I scroll down here in my modules to poll, I know that it's enabled, and now I can add new content and add a new poll. Who will be next mayor of Drupalville? We have an election coming up. Will it be Sally D. Rupel? Will it be our current mayor, Drew P. Aliskul? Will it be Steve Burge? Or since the Boston Bruins just ran the Stanley Cup last night, will it be Don Cherry, the former coach of the Bruins, who is now a CBC analyst in Canada? Is it active? Sure. How long is it? Well, the election's in three weeks, so let's just set it for three weeks from now. Let's provide a menu link for this. We're not going to allow comments on this because it's political, and of course that'll get messy. And it's published, but we're not going to promote it to the front page. I can click Save. And now notice who will be the next mayor of Drupalville. So now when we look at our poll, we'll notice that it's not alphabetical. So let's go ahead and edit. And let's click Don up here. And we make sure that we click Save. And so Don, Drew, Sally, and Steve. If I want to vote, of course, we all know that Don Cherry will be the next mayor of Drupalville. This is an easy way, again, to make a poll. Now, I really don't like the way the menu is, is uh, shaping up, so we'll fix that later on in our menu section. Uh, but for now, don't worry about it. So that's how to create a poll.